Hey, it's Steve Emmers. Uh, this is a crash that popped in my alerts from News 5 in Cleveland. It's a crash in Minerva, Ohio. The guardrail clearly is impaled in the vehicle. And I've had a lot of people reach out to me and say, hey, what happened? What happened? And just looking at this, it looks like a blunt end. This, um, I thought it was a pretty rural road. I found the fire department, went through some photos. You can see the guardrail in the vehicle. One of the things um, you can see coming out the back, you can see a guardrail post here. You can see that it hit at about 31 inches, I would guess. Came in, um, hit the sheet metal of the vehicle, but really never hit anything of substance. Went through the windshield and out the back. So my estimate, I think this vehicle was going um, from a Jeep Force perspective. This is a minor crash. From a, having a guardrail go through the middle of your car, you're very fortunate that but for this guardrail going through your vehicle, you'd be dead. Um, both of these guys walked away. I guess they were going 20 miles an hour, um, up to 40, somewhere in that range, 20 to 40. Uh, 20 might be a little low, but as low as 20. Um, but to give you an idea, here's Minerva, tiny village to the southeast of Akron. I got on Google, um, I'm going to switch over to layers because I want you to see how rural this is. This road's never been indexed by Google. This is a very, very rural road. And I suspected that the guardrail was either right here or more than likely right here. When I switch to satellite view, you can zoom in. And as I suspected, I can see the guardrail here. And it has the shape, and I know this is weird, you can generally identify guardrail from satellite view. It looks like a blunt end to me. It just does. Um, I can't explain. I can identify most of the guardrails from, from space. So I thought I might get lucky, and I did. I switched to Bing, and here is the guardrail. These are extremely extraordinarily dangerous blunt ends. This photo was taken on uh, September 15, 2014. I've, so pretty new, but there are no guardrail posts here. So the thing that I found alarming is that this bridge has been modified. This, this blunt end was put in recently. And so let's take a look. We have guidance from the Federal Highway Administration in 1994. Replacement of blunt ends. 1974 said that it's important to uh, replace these. 1974. But it gets worse. You have a document here on December 31st, 1963. The Highway Research Board, Special Report 81, Highway Guardrail recommends replacement of blunt end guardrails and somehow a blunt end was installed here on this local road and this was our outcome very very fortunate that these two men got a chance my daughter never got they walked away with minor injuries but we have got to get these blunt ends these Texas turndowns and similar dangerous devices off the roadside. These are but four crashes. We can't rely. These guys got lucky. My daughter did not. She was eviscerated. And it was because a guardrail, but for the guardrail going through her car, she would be alive today, I believe.